The Charity Commission, which is the government's watchdog for charities, has confirmed that it's launched an investigation into the Captain Tom Foundation following the publication of its accounts. You might recall from my previous video that £160,000 was given in charitable grants, whilst £240,000 had been spent on management and fundraising costs. More details about that in my first video, which I will link in the description. If you didn't catch my second video on charities, somebody did ask me in the comments to talk about the fiduciary duty, or the fundamental underlying duty of trustees to act in the best interests only of the beneficiary. And obviously in the case of a charity, the charity's trustees must act in the best interests of the charity. And it leaves zero room for self-interest whatsoever. I did a full video, which I will link in the description below, detailing when a charity must be registered, how funds must be collected, counted, audited, and so on and how trustees must avoid conflicts of interest and things of that nature. So I will also link that video in the description below, so please go and check that out for full details. But in the meantime, as I said, the Charity Commission has confirmed that it's launched an investigation into the Captain Tom Foundation. Whilst it stresses that it doesn't prove that any wrongdoing has been found, but I do suspect that the Charity Commission will look very much more closely at the two companies which were reimbursed by the newly found charity, which are under the control of Sir Captain Tom Moore's daughter, Hannam Ingram Moore, and her husband, Colin. Those two companies were Club Nook Limited and Matrix Group Limited, but more details on that in my first video, which, as I said, I will link in the description below. And please make sure you subscribe, like the video, turn on the bell notifications so that you get notifications of new videos, because I will update you as I learn more. And in the meantime, thank you for watching.